Hello there, this is Carl and welcome to another quick video. Uh, this is a video I was meant to be wanting to do for quite some time now, uh, but never had the chance. But this is six months on using Element 3D version 2. My thoughts and how I think it's better than 1.6.2. So let's just dive in. So I've just literally just opened up After Effects now, so I'm just going to create a new solid quickly and just open up element 3d okay so this is version 2 we're looking at um, and I've been using this for quite some time now so let's just jump in the scene set up very very quickly and just basically um, explain why I think this is a hell of a lot better than um, 1.6.2 uh, to start off with speed I mean the speed that this runs at is absolutely phenomenal it really is a hundred times faster uh, rendering um, and doing work within Element 3D uh, version 2 than 1.6.2. That's just right out of the bag. And not only that, it's what you can do with it as well. It's basically Cinema 4D um, in a small form factor in a plugin, which I think is quite incredible. Um, and also, you know, the previous packs that I brought over from 1.6.2, you can do a hell of a lot more with um, because there's a lot more freedom. Um, within the plugin to do what you want with your models so I'm just going to open up here and as you can see I've got um, you know all the environment I've got a back light I've got the um, 2k environment maps I've got um, let's just have a look I've got a physical shaders pack environment I've got uh, backlight um, 4k and 2k uh, backlight uh, what else have I got um, I've got materials uh, which is fantastic uh, really really good um, and these are all very very high high quality uh, environment maps as well so let's just um, open up say for instance a jet strike model and I'll show you what I mean so let's just open up this one here now obviously um, it's going to give you a warning um, so it's going to downscale it to fit the, um, the, the, the environment but straight away, the, the fluidity of Element version 2 um, is a hell of a lot faster than version 1.6.2. That's just right out of the bag. Um, not only that, um, if we open up this, um, we can play around with anything we want within this model. So, um, you know, shaders, uh, make it look just absolutely uh, spot on. Not only that, if you sort of come around to the back, uh, let's, let's just find where we've got lighted hang on so we've got some lights here right here and I can add some physical uh, shaders to that uh, which is um, fantastic so I can just drop that on here so I've done that wrong way around let's just uh, undo that let's just drop another crown on it okay so when you've got um, say for instance pieces of the geometry which is separated um, when you model um, it gives you um, easier ways to sort of texture that um, so for instance this here you know I can sort of texture all this within uh, element 3d uh, version 2 and I can sort of add an environment to that so if I just open my environment let's go to 2k and click on 2k the the results you're getting from just pure you know working within this plugin is just second to none it really is it's so fast it's frightening and obviously you know you've got all your settings here which obviously Andrew Claim has been through um, in previous videos so I'm not going to go too much into that um, I'm just trying to explain to you guys how I find um, this working within uh, Element 3D a hell of a lot better so I'm just going to um, import a little model here and when you import a little, uh, one of your OBJ mod models it asks you what you want to import straight out of the bat so um, I'm just going to uh, get rid of my ground sort of there um, and as you can see I've got um, a little spaceship here which is just basically a basic model okay so there's two sections to this there's the US UFO itself and there's the lights okay so if I go to my, my um, let's just close this for a second, uh, let's go to materials, 
uh, let's go to my physical shaders I could drop this light literally on my light and bang you've got some physical shading done with your lighting um, straight out of the bag you know straight away so um, I can basically drop this on top um, and just play around with the lighting if I wanted you've got more a lot, a lot more lighting features as well uh, within this so let's just go to my environment maps and just like this um, there's a hell of a lot more you can literally do with this pack um, you know with this plugin and you could just work literally make models within you know Max, Maya or Cinema um, come straight over to um, Element 3D and work on all your texturing and your bits and bobs within um, version 2 which is fantastic um, and I really really like that because it just saves you from bouncing from one end to the other um, so you can sort of you know change your, uh, your environments to spherical for instance you know look I've got that lovely automatic lovely edge to that um, let's just put the reflection up um, let's just have a look edge mode let's click invert so you can invert normals there's so much um, you can do with this, this this plugin it's frightening so obviously guys you know this ain't um, tutorial nothing you know this is just basically telling you guys showing you guys why I prefer this one over the previous version it's a hell of a lot better guys I mean it's definitely worth the purchase uh, I've also got um, motion design 2 as well as uh, motion design 1 which basically comes with some really outstanding um, high detailed uh, models um, which are totally 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 um, I could literally go there uh, duplicate do you know what I mean I can, I can select individual parts uh, and just move them away like that you know it's, it's, it's literally unlimited what you can do with this pack it really is and it's worth every single uh, a penny really is uh, some of the models within uh, motion design 2 uh, absolutely stunning but that will be um, or sure should I say this will be um, a separate video guys um, and I'll do a quick review and rundown of basically what is in uh, motion design 2 as well but all in all definitely worth the upgrade guys without a shadow of a doubt there's so much more you can do within version 2 it is unreal um, so for you know how much literally you can you know buy this pack for um, is, is, is literally unbelievable also if you um, if I just get rid of that you can import some mega models let's see if I've got a big one here uh, let's import this one uh, this is a big rig this is uh, Starship and like I say I mean everything is you know say for instance these guns yeah oh let's just go to materials let's go to pro shaders 2 which I've also got um, let's click on metal um, you know the the amount of materials you've got within this pack that are fully editable as well is unreal so I could literally drop that um, on top of the guns um, play around with it detail it up make it look good um, you know I could come to the back for instance to turbines uh, I'll just shrink this uh, go to my physical shaders uh, drop some lights on that which can be animated and uh, put a glow on within um, After Effects um, within After Effects um, which is absolutely phenomenal um, so if I just reopen that and go to metal again uh, you know I can have a brush sort of finish to the ship I can you know have it you know as long as you're you know everything's independent of themselves you can you know grade it and color it and texture it um, how you see fit but it's not only that it's the amount of details and let's just bring the reflectivity up um, in the self um, it's just absolutely first not so um, I do recommend you get this if you're into element 3d um, just to play around with it and you know it just you know it gives you so much more you can do 
Um, there's so much more you can do with Element 3D version 2. It's frightening. Um, the jump from version uh, 1.6 to 1.2 is massive. It is a massive jump. I mean, even that two seconds looks absolutely fantastic. I'll drop that bang straight into um, uh, After Effects. Let's just get a camera. Um, and everything, uh, you know, all the work you do within Element 3D works straight off the GPU, which is fantastic. Um, and that just looks phenomenal, really, really does, you know. And then once you go and you sort of, you know, go to your effects, you know, you stylize and you add your glow to that, um, you can play around with your glow threshold, you know, just to sort of give yourself some effects on your you know on your turbines or whatever you're doing so on and so on so yeah all in all guys a fantastic fantastic plug-in a fantastic upgrade um, over 1.6.2 I do recommend it uh, thanks for listening guys please remember you know give this a thumbs up if you like the video uh, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one ciao ciao